Welcome back to the show, everyone. All three of us are already bickering at each other. It's Terry, like, David, who's Mulligan. Who's on first? How are you, my friend? Well, Uncle Molly. How are you, buddy? Hello, Michael. If you guys go nice on the list, <laughs> I'm out. <laughs> I wanted to, but I could tell he was hesitant. What's I looked in his you, eyes. What's new with you, my friends? Um, well, I, I'm th thrilled to be back in Vancouver. I thought yeah, you were going to say okay. here on Urban Rush. <laughs> Welcome well, back to Vancouver. No, no, here's the thing. Yesterday, I was sitting in my shorts watching this show, scratching myself, <laughs> and today I'm on it. <laughs> you know, it's life's a miracle. like How that good sometimes. is this country? Uh, that's <laughs> what all of our audience is doing right now. Sitting Wait, in their shorts, If I keep themselves. scratching it, maybe I'll get on the okay, show, too. Okay, so we have to, like, pour the first wine, and then we can chat oh, yeah, more. Sure. Okay, we're talking about uh, a lot of wines today. What well, are we, what I, are we I, doing? I, normally, I, I bring too many, but this is this is from. Uh, I, I said to J uh, John Claretti's at Marquee Wine Cellars. I'm going in. What do you say? Yeah. Uh, and this is what he said. This is what you want to pour. Uh, I had just finished interviewing John Skinner at uh, at uh, Painted, Painted Rock. Rock. Mm -hmm. And so he's a marvelous guy. He's great a guy fun, and yeah. wonderful wine. So we, I, I, you know, I use it as an excuse to get another bottle. Um, I'm pouring really? for you. I hope you don't mind. So this what, is so Mouille Class. Careful. Louis, they're fancy, but they're dangerous. This is Mui Place, the lemongrass. Ooh. It's from Stellenbach. Oh, I'm sorry. Stellenbach. Ah. Okay. Uh, um, uh -oh. It's a combination of uh, Sauvignon Blanc oh, yeah. and Chenin Blanc. Mm. Uh, it's crisp, light, floral, green apple, great with salads, chicken, pizza, seafood. You know what just it smells like everything. to me? It smells like summertime. Oh, yeah. It's fresh and... I get a little bit of dandelion, some lemon. Ooh. There's no dandelion in there. Well, there's some lemon. Hey, what oh, happened yeah, with some lemon? You that's can't true. judge what? someone that's else's true. palate. That's very true. That's, that's true. Cool. the subjectivity of tasting. I have tasting. another one for you in just a minute. Okay. Jeez, you're so, a guy. <laughs> Mui Place de Lemongrass is $17.95. There you that's go. That's a good price point. That's nice. a good price I like that a lot. Uh, congratulations. The Tasting Room Radio uh, has found a nice local home here in Vancouver as well. Team 1410, Saturday mornings at 10 a.m. is wonderful because then the Okanagan gets to talk to Vancouver. You know, and they want to. They and want you got to talk to well, Jason Priestley, of course, ah, because lovely. he's your buddy, and uh, yeah, and George Clooney. And George Clooney. How was George Clooney? Well, he's a great, and he says, you know, I didn't he, know he was a big wine guy. Oh, he's a huge wine guy. But I he bet said, he would have. What he said was, that. what he said he's was, he's watching in his shorts right now. <laughs> what he said was, is that he for four months of the year when he's in L.A. he doesn't drink. When he goes to uh, Italy, to yep. a place in Italy, he drinks Italian wine. It doesn't give him a hangover, a headache, and he yeah. just loves it. Uh, it's organic, Viva right? There's, there's a lesson in there about uh, about good quality wine and mm -hmm. local growers, right? Provencier, okay? That's right, where we're going right now? Here, right here. I'm just going to do this. This is a wine, thank you. This is a wine uh, that, uh, that uh, has been blended by uh, Mr. Claretti's himself. He's there now. He's in the south of France right now mm -hmm. making more of this. <laughs> okay? Because he can't sell it fast enough. And what it, is this? Uh, this is a, a family that's been making uh, wine in the Languedoc since 1954. And if you think about that, that's when rock and roll started. So those vines have been in the ground since thinking. rock and roll started. And so Provencier is John's blend. It's Chardonnay, Viognier, 8020. Uh, no oak, stainless steel. Uh, south of France, Fifteen mm. bucks. Can I uh, can I express my ignorance once again and ask how often is it that you get a Chardonnay blend? How often? What? Well, th are there a lot of Chardonnay blends? Yeah, I, I thought well, Chardonnay well, was I, usually just no, a, well, no, a standalone. No, no they, uh, the French will mess around with just about anything. Yeah, well, they're crazy. That's but what she said. It all depends what the what the land gives you, what the terroir gives you. Then you go, you look, go, That's you an know interesting what? This one. needs this needs some Viognier. Yeah, dandelion. It's a very interesting one. He makes it. Is it really different? I don't know. And, he, and you can only find it in that store. But he loves it. It's there now. He's actually blending for the next batch that we'll try. I like it. An incredibly so clean Excellent. palette mm -hmm. on that. Thank you. Let's okay, move so on let's to the move reds. on to my favorites, which are the reds. God, that's good stuff. Oh, I yeah. Know. We're going to drink this later. Yeah. Ooh. <laughs> oh, on the commercial <laughs> break, we're doing shooters. Okay. Okay, what's this? It's uh, Este Tinto. Si. All right. And, and for those of you who, who might not have heard this grape, this is Prieto Picudo. May I? The, yes. And this, I have and, not but heard of this grape. But Picudo? The, the, is Picudo. this Spain? Yeah, it is. Yeah. But here's the thing. There's a story behind the bottle, as there always is. This has got a slightly earthy barnyard quality. No, like That's Michael. the term I wanted to throw by you. It's earthy a little, it's like barnyard. An, it's like an earthy zin, okay? Okay. Um, cherry, blackberry. It's great with stews and mm. mushrooms. And for your favorite, mm -hmm. rosemary and garlic mm -hmm. fricassee. Mm -hmm. How much is this just out of curiosity? <laughs> because Why did you have to say fricassee? fricassee? Right? Well, now look I'm at you. I think of a fricassee. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. um, I shot it out my nose. Here's the story. The story is, is that the Spanish government's trying 
trying to get uh, the older winemakers to, to pull out Ooh, all like their that. old vines and yeah. plant Sam Blanc and Chardonnay and all these fancy yeah. schmancy stuff. Yeah. And there's a whole there's now a whole rebellion. generation yeah. of young winemakers saying, leave those vines alone. Yeah. These are 50 year old vines yeah. that they were going to pull out. Well, oh, it, because so you got to do the Chenin Blancs. Yes. you got to be like France. This is history. Pull out the Tempranillo and put now, in. Now, before we move on to the next one, you were shooting a little episode like of Supernatural, one of my favorite shows shot here in Vancouver, mm -hmm. and you were tied up in a jacuzzi and handcuffed? Yes, and uh, I had a bag over my head, and I got tasered by DJ Qualls. That's what Mike calls Friday. By DJ Qualls. Yeah. I love him. Yeah, yeah. He's a quirky little he guy. He was a mean little guy. Yes, he He tasered me, and he put a bag over That's my head. That's not very nice. Yeah. yeah. Most small men are angry and mean. Like, in, in my experience. Anyway. Name one. Give him two more glasses of wine and he will bite you. <laughs> what are you talking to me? Molly? Okay, so let's move on to the next one. We are going to look at another oh, so one anyway, right here. But I, I like know that I hate one. Waste. Este, I really like this. Este Tinto. That's it right there. Uh, okay. This has potential to sell it too, I would guess. Uh, Absolutely. Just based on the palate and the tannins. And, and, and if you, you check see. your Spanish wines they yeah. uh, on the reservas, Best they, value right they like to hold on to their wines for two years in the bottle, which yeah. we don't do. Now we're this going to the Okanagan. Yeah. This is Okanagan Crush Pad. This is... Uh, this is an incredible uh, wine that's, that's going to have an ing a wonderful rush for the next 10 years. Uh, this is their Pinot Noir uh, from Haywire. Uh, classic nose, dry, um, lots of berry in there. Uh, it's great for with smoked Gouda. It looks very light. Uh, favorite pizza might be margarita. Or, yeah. Yeah, right? That yep, goes right, well right, with that. Right. Something simple. Uh, there's an Italian cheese, and I wrote it down, I still don't believe mm. it. Pro Protonazzi? Protonazzi. I have no idea. Okay, fine. Uh, that's uh, lovely. A little touch of wood, almost like a Beaujolais, <laughs> right? And this, is if this is the first baby steps for Haywire and Okanagan Crush that's Pad, that's a good. I can already tell a, on the it's nose. A great it's first beautiful. Step. It is absolutely smashing. And if you actually, if you can just layer down for a while, mm. layer be, down, layer eh? down. Is that eh? what we're calling it now? Layer down. Layer down. That's well, that's, nice. a, that's a term I came up with. Yeah, uh, and we've got time for the quick. <laughs> it goes so well with yeah. the toothpaste. Mm, oh, oh yucky. Uh, really quick on the Painted Rock. Yeah, Painted Rock. Okay. Well, we well, shouldn't be quick on that. He was just in town, was he not? He, he, well, he lives here. Oh, okay. Yeah. So here's the deal. I wrote no notes about Painted Rock and about this red icon simply because it's head and shoulders above yeah. almost all other bottles in Canada. And really? It's a big bang. These guys are you know, killing it right th now. This is a big number, 40, 50 bucks, depending on where you buy it. But it is so good. It's the kind of wine that you would give as a gift to somebody or to yourself. Is it a blend or is it a? Uh, here, here in this one, put it in there, right there. Yeah, put uh, it in there. Go his clean. red icon oh, is that clean. Bordeaux blend. He planted nice. specifically all of the Bordeaux blends so that mm -hmm. he could make this wine for yeah. us. Yeah. And yeah. and um, depending on who you talk to, they're either the number one, two, or three winery in Canada, and they really have only been open for business oh, for the last couple of years. Can right. you imagine? How can, good you can, you can you imagine? Well, imagine? and that is, I, I mean, anytime you get, uh, you know, a traditional blend wine like that, uh, that's the art. I mean, that is, is the, the that is the winemaker's art right there. Mm. Um, a, a single vineyard, uh, a single varietal, you can just grow them, bottle yeah. it, put it out. But when you start to blend, it's when the I art is the artist. I am pouring this yeah. one out. It's beautiful. This is delicious. Tasting yeah, yeah. Room Radio. When can people listen? Saturday mornings at 10 a.m. <laughs> on Team 1410. <laughs> Scene <laughs> well, <I did laughs> where you can listen to this man. You can also go to the website, Todd, to find out more about TDM. Oh, okay, uh, I'm Saturday. not putting this nice. down. We're going to okay. be back and we're going to be talking we about Adele. Let's Obama, go party. Come on, what do you and say? And who's flashed who? <laughs> you weirdos? Get back here. <laughs>